good afternoon from Jackie O here in Corpus Christi, Texas, and Sandia, Texas, and Orange Grove, Texas, and Mathis, Texas, <laughs> kind of on the outskirts of all those areas. Um, but I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I have personally, my husband and I have um, sold, I'm in the process of selling our property in town, and buying, we bought some acreage out of town. Um, yes, we're still working plenty in town and we're not going anywhere. We just, we just wanted a little more space and a little more quiet. Um, but that led me to do this video regarding, uh, when you want to buy acreage and you want to live outside the city limits or the, I'm in the city limits of another town, but meaning, um, if you don't have city water or city trash or city sewer, right um or if you're on acreage and you don't have city sewer what what are your alternatives so the property we purchased and a lot of the homes around us are on water wells um, and septic tanks and um, and there's just some things to be aware of uh, i'm sure i know a lot of people have water softeners i was re really never one to know much about them I mean I've I know enough about them to talk about them but I've never had one so now I do and uh, so there's some things to understand especially whether you're in town or out of town is that the water can be pretty hard and that means there's a lot of minerals and, uh, in it and so you want to make sure it's safe and you want to make sure it's uh, if you want a water softener uh, that will soften it so it's not so hard on your uh, clothes and your hair and everything and so I have this water softener and I just had a whole lesson for like an hour on how to maintain it um, we have an in-house uh, system to take the water even further in its purification for better drinking water um, but there is a, a system for the entire house and they don't recommend you drink that water but the irony is I met some neighbors and they're like no we drink the hard water and we're fine I mean, it's no big deal we drink it we use it we don't have a water softener we just like clean our pipes and do this and do that and orderly and we're fine and I'm like okay so and plus um, when you go VA I don't know if when you go conventional I don't think when you go conventional but when you go VA you have to have the water well water tested for safety to make sure there's no dangerous bacteria in it or anything. Um, now, septic tanks, when you have an older home with VA, um, they're gonna require you to have, have a septic inspection and provide that inspection to them. Um, if it's a newer home, not necessarily, okay? But you gotta be prepared. And as a real estate agent, I always make sure I have a septic inspection or a well inspection. Um, Another thing is the soil's different in different areas. What's the soil like, you know? Um, is it sand, is it rock, is it mixed, is it clay? Uh, apparently where we moved to, we've got sand, clay, sand, and it's, it's kind of varies. Um, so that was interesting to find out. Um, and why does that matter? It matters about your foundation maintenance. Is your foundation gonna be shifting and potentially failing if you don't water it? Um, if you have clay soil, you definitely need to stabilize that, that soil around your house. Um, but rock and sand, not so much. Now, another interesting thing we noticed with the house we purchased was the location of the house on the property was a little bit lower of an elevation than, let's say, the higher point on the property. And it would have been preferable <laughs> if it were higher. Um, on the property, but I'm assuming that the cost to take it further over was too much or whatever. But if you're gonna buy property, pay attention to those things. Um, it might be a deal breaker if, if the house isn't elevated properly or because then that means it can flood, um, water could rush into it. Um, and then another thing that, you know, we have to think about now is uh, rattlesnakes and coyotes and hawks, you know, we have a eight pound chihuahua, you know, we can't leave him out, not like we would, it's too hot anyway. Um, you know, and coyotes and, and we have chickens and cows. And so we have to um, just be aware of how to take care of these things. And so I just wanted to share with you guys what was going on with me. And